This is a makeup lecture 26 for Monday, March the 28, 2016. Um, what I'm going to talk about this short lecture, video lecture is to talk about uh, voltage regulator uh, for the remainder of the chapters. As you can see that uh, for the Monday video lecture, I'm going to, to talk about some example and then uh, hopefully that uh, for the next uh, recorded lecture 27, uh, we're going to, to go through the uh, three-phase regulator. As you remember, uh, the last lecture on Friday, we, talk, uh, we briefly go through the ideal transformer, uh, auto transformer transformer that talk about A, B, C, D and capital A, B matrix C and then we go into the regulator type A and B and type A is what we refer to as the reverse uh, L model and the uh, type B is the, uh, is the L model and the L model is basically the common model used in, uh, in, the, in uh, many utility and as you know the difference between the two of them is that regulator is actually has the mechanism to do the control to uh, uh, chip uh, up, down or up based on the number of tapes. And typically we have a 32 uh, step, uh, so the tape will be 16 up or 16 down uh, in, in total. And our idea is that to be able to relate this transformer ratio, auto transformer ratio to be precise, and then uh, with the number of tape and then correspond to how much we will send from uh, the the network the 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 load set from the load center where we want to figure out how much uh, the voltage we want to regulate. So the bandwidth is what we have uh, mentioned uh, uh, on previous week. I thought that uh, to continue to talk about a single phase regulator, um, I would like to go through some example and the example of 7.4 to 7.6 from the textbook is actually the one that is very useful and I want to make it simple enough uh, to put it into the PDF format so that to illust illustrate uh, what are the important part of this example and what are the things that you need to look for. Um, as you can tell that from this picture, there is a power transformer in the substation rated uh, 5000 kVA or you can say that at 5 uh, mega VA, uh, MVA uh, with a voltage level of 115 kV step down to 4.16 kV delta to Y connected. And the regulator is actually stationed uh, in the feeder head, uh, at the feeder head that will feed uh, all the way uh, throughout the entire uh, system. So what the rule of this regulator is to figure out what this load center would like uh, would be and the distance between the regulator uh, from the, uh, the other terminal here uh, to the regulating point here which we call it as load center uh, that's the distance between here and here indicated in ohms information so it's 0 0.3 plus J 0 0.9 ohm so the very very first question uh, for the example is to, to determine the potential transformer and the current transformer rating for the compensator uh, circuit. As you may recall from uh, my last lecture, there is a mechanism that actually uh, will determine how much the voltage will regulate at the load center. Um, so let's see uh, if you can f uh, find this out. So this is what we have last time. Uh, if I remember uh, correctly um, there is a picture I s so the um, compensator circuit here is actually the one to determine how much the distance will be uh, right this is R line plus J X line is actually the distance between the the other the terminal of the regulator to the load center and then the CT which is the uh, current transformer primary and then the number of transformer PT here. So to come back to the example here um, this is uh, um, the um, example here uh, 
so to uh, to determine P PT and CT rating, in this case, you have to have a compensator. So in this case, the VS, which is the PT, simply will be the uh, the, the secondary side of the power transformer because it's actually on the secondary side. So it will be 4.16 kV divided by square root of 3 to convert into a line to neutral, which gives you approximately 2.4 kV. This is indicated as a PT rating. Whereas for the um, other rating, uh, which is the um, as you can tell that this is a CT rating. Before we actually get to the CT rating, we have to actually determine the number of uh, potential uh, transform turns. So uh, by having the 2.4, in fact, this is uh, actually is not 2.4, but 2.4K. Um, so 2.4K divided by one, 120, that gives you 20 turn. And then um, you also still have to figure out uh, the I rated, which is giving you S divided by square root of 3 times VLL. In this case, that will be the current, the, how much the current will flow through. So that will be the 5,000 um, uh, kilo kVA, and then divided by square root of 3 times 4.16 uh, um, value. So KK here cancels out. And as you may know, this is a formula we use very commonly in the power system, which is the uh, tree phase, and then we have that um, square root tree cancelled out that uh, result in the square root tree here. So the value of that is um, 693.9 M. So the um, this indicate the number of turn for potential transform, which is up to 20. And then, uh, so this information is sort of grouped in one place, whereas the next question will be the CT rating. So in order to get the CT rating, we, as I mentioned, you have to calculate the, the rated value of current, which is almost close to the 700 amps. So in this case, we are actually picking uh, 700 amps, which is a higher ceiling. And sometimes if you have 601 point something, then you probably want to pick uh, the lower ceiling, depending on the number that makes sense. So if the compensator is reduced to, say, 5 amps, then you will have the CD rating as the primary side of the CD divided by the secondary side of the CD, the current transformer, that give you 700 divided by 5, equal, that's equal to 140 uh, amps as the rating. So that's part of the first question here. So the, the second question, uh, uh, this problem is actually to determine um, the R and X setting on the compensator. As you may know that uh, this can be in um, ohms or volts. So the, that's the compensator uh, R and X value. So we actually use it as a, a prime here to indicate um, uh, different information. But we don't do that because we say that they have uh, ohms and voltage uh, situation here. So um, the first one for the vo voltage, we use uh, R prime plus J X prime in volt. So you will have to determine how much the uh, impedance information for the uh, between uh, the regulator and the load center. So this is the R line plus J X, which can be seen uh, from this information. Uh, from this uh, point, 3.3, uh, 0 0.3 plus J 0.9 ohm. So you will have to use that value multiplied by the CTP divided by NPT. So the CTP, which was 7 amp from this part, divided by NPT, which was uh, computed as a 20, that gives you approximately 10.5 plus J uh, 31.5 volt. Uh, why is that volt? Because you have ohm multiplied by the currents with the ratio difference. So that this is uh, dimensionless. This is uh, I and this is R. So is 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 reasonably to be in volt unit. Um, so to have that in the ohm unit, then you can simply divide it by the secondary side of the current, which is the phi m. So having this uh, 10.5 plus J 31.5 divided by 5 amps, that give you 2.1 plus J 6.3 ohm. So the difference between these two uh, is not just the notation, but also the unit. But uh, for the R ohm plus J X ohm, we usually divide by 
the secondary current, so the unit uh, for both of them are very different in this case. So I am going to talk a little bit about the next example, uh, 7.5. Uh, and this example, as you can see, that I use the two different colors to show uh, additional information. The blue one is actually that uh, was uh, picking up from the previous example, whereas the red one indicating some information we really have to look into uh, further detail. So, for example, let's say the load center uh, here is measured with the information of two uh, two. 2500 kVA at the voltage of 12.16 kV with the power factors of 0 0.9 uh, lagging and then the set point voltage is 120 volt uh, with the base and you know the bandwidth here in this situation is 2 volt so that means that you have plus minus 1 uh, you, it, it will be either 119 volt or 121 volt from the base so this is divided by 2 because of the plus and mi minus and, and that's the bandwidth okay so the first step to do that is to first calculate the actual line current because you, you were given with the actual measurement that you measure at the load center. So the line current here is, is this is in this situation is different now. So you have uh, instead of 5,000 that was a rated current, you have the real measurement uh, current flowing to that particular load only the only load there. So that will be 2500 kVA divided by square root of 3 times 4.16 kV with a power factor of 0.9. So as you can see the red color indicate here is the new information we are uh, com uh, going to compute with uh, the I, uh, line current which gives us 346.97 with the angle of minus 25.84 amps. Once we find out the line current we have to convert that information sort of into the compensator, right? So, because the regulating point is actually based on the current at the load center. So, when we figure out what are the line uh, current would be, so the converting into uh, the cur uh, compensator current uh, is simply using the line current that we got it from uh, the last step divided by CT rating, which is uh, 140. Amps, uh, amps. So that is the 140 amp that we can get it from um, the previous uh, example right here, the CT, 140 amps. That's the compensator current. So with, with that information uh, included, the compensator uh, current can be uh, computed uh, by divided by 140 m that give you 2.478 with the an angle of minus 25.84 amps. So usually uh, in electrical engineering, we use the light to represent current in the uh, uh, polar phone. As you can see, that we can see the magnitude clearly. And then the the so the next step would be to find out the uh, in, input for the voltage to to the compensator. So that is denoted as a V regulator equal to the Vs divided by NPT. So that Vs is the voltage that we computed before 2.4 kV divided by the term of the potential transformer, which is 20. 2.4 will be um, um, where is my 2.4? Two point four kVA is the voltage, and then uh, the n p t is the twenty, so that gives you one uh, twenty point one with a zero degree um, so once we get that uh, input voltage, then the step three will be to find out the voltage drop in compensator so uh, i I need to be very careful about the the information that we are going to find out here is that uh, the voltage drop is actually the the uh, impedance information multiplied by the uh, compensator uh, current. So the this impedance 2.1 plus Z 6.3 is actually the one we found it before. Let's see, 2.1, right? This is the um, uh, the R and X setting in ohms unit, not in voltage unit. 
So remember that we talked about that before that there's a one uh, compensator setting uh, and they both are very different. So I'm going to use this uh, this time to clarify as uh, is A and B. So I'm referring to this 2.1 plus J 6.3. So that's here you go. And this is the current that we just uh, computed from this section, uh, step two, and that gives you the voltage drop of 16.458 with the angle of 45.7 degree uh, volt. So, uh, to find out the voltage across the uh, voltage relay is the voltage R, which is the voltage re relay, equal to uh, voltage regular uh, reg regulator minus voltage drop that give you uh, 120.1 uh, volt with a zero degree minus 16.458 uh, with a degree of 45.7. This is actually coming from the step four, and that give you the uh, voltage relay equal to uh, 109.24 with a degree of minus 6.19 volt. Here we go. Here's the previous uh, previous lecture figures that you can see that the regulator voltage, uh, the voltage drop, and then the relay voltage. So these three are in uh, interrelated. Um, if I may uh, go back uh, here again, you will see that. The VR is equal to voltage regulator, regulator minus V drop. VR is equal to voltage regulator minus V drop, right? So that is what we are after here. VR equal to V regulator minus V drop, and we got the v, the relay voltage here. So to find out the uh, adjustment that we have. We will need to use this value minus whatever the original uh, initial value of the tape uh, voltage, which is 119, right? Now, why do we pick 119? Because the 119 is the low bound of the bandwidth. Remember, we, we mentioned earlier there is a 120 as a base, and then we have two volt of this uh, upper bound and lower bound, right? So 119 is actually higher than 109.24. So that's when where we need to uh, rise the voltage here uh, adjustment. So we use that 119 minus this uh, 109.24 divided by 0 0.75. This is the uh, uh, incremental tape for each uh, step uh, in voltage uh, based on the 120 volt uh, base. So that gives you a 13.02 different, and and so as you can see that is is actually to raise 13 step here. So one minus uh, 0 0.00625 times tape um, that will give you uh, the adjustments of 0 0.9188 uh, in total. So this is actually required that you have, uh, you need uh, uh, 13 uh, tap changes, right? So remember uh, how many total steps you can actually adjust up and down. So this is actually below the uh, lower bands, 119. So at the maximum we can actually adjust required would be, um, you know, if I go back to the slide, we can actually move uh, up to 32 uh, steps in total. But we don't have to do that. The adjustment only require of uh, 13 steps in this case. So we we need just to um, figure out what would be the AR, which is the the number of uh, tape that required to adjust in this case. Um, so if you recall on that um, generalized ABCD matrix, A. Uh, for each of those is actually quite uh, straightforward. The A is equal to AR, which is uh, 0 0.9188. B and C, there's no uh, emittance and impedance. We just simply find uh, this because it's, uh, uh, it's a very small value. And then the D is actually the inverse of A, which is 1 over 0 0.9188. That gives you 1.0884 in total. So, um, as you can see that to put it into the um, generalized ABC matrix, we have to actually go into uh, to figure out uh, at least this four step to find out 
uh, how what are the uh, tape changes required and you know in order to do that there are a lot of information we need to know for example how much the load will be what will be the set point of voltage uh, what will be the band weight in this situation is two volts to be set for the band weight and then etc and then followed by this four step you actually will get to find out the a r so so this is a, a pretty um, uh, straightforward uh, calculation um, they come out to the example of uh, 7.8 things are getting a little bit interesting so um, I think what uh, the 7.6 they are trying to uh, uh, ask to calculate the actual line to ground um, voltage and line current so the actual line to ground is uh, how much would that be at this point uh, so uh, if you have this information already in place how are we going to f figure out the, the regulator between this side and that side right so to f determine the VRL which is uh, the L side then you will have to use a VS over A equal to 2.4 K over 0 0.9188 so the A is a, this number but why is it we are dividing by A so as you can see from this general uh, matrix um, the A itself you can see, argue that is actually A times VL but we are looking for VL given that we know VS and IS which is from the transformer side so that's the reason that why we have to divide it by uh, the A value that give you uh, approximately 2614.2 uh, volt and then the current is actually inverse of the D uh, as well so that will uh, just simply give you the one point uh, divided by 1.0884 that give you 318.77 with the angle of 25.84 amps for the current so actually we are moving this side to the other side in order to compute VL and VIL uh, now this is not done yet because uh, basically this question asking is not this point how much the voltage would be but this point of how much the voltage would be right so uh, based on the basic circuit you learned before to in order to calculate the current at this point from the source source you need to uh, sort of minus whatever the information and current flowing through this uh, uh, distance, right? So that means uh, the VLC, the load center voltage, will be equal to VL. Uh, here is the VL minus the current current VL flowing through it with the uh, uh, multiply by with the impedance information so the VL information is actually uh, from the right hand side of the regulator so that give you approximately um, if you do this map correctly by uh, key, uh, keying into the calculator you should get 2.412 uh, with the angle of minus 5.15 K um, don't forget about the K, KV all in a 120 volt base you can actually divide by uh, the 20 which is uh, uh, the NPT ratio so and that is the VLC with a 120 degree uh, that the, the the based on that base uh, we should give you 120.6 uh, with the angle of minus 5.15 volt so lastly this uh, R line ohm plus Z X ohm it, it can also be simply calculated based on uh, the value you uh, measure on both sides which is the regular output voltage minus V uh, LC the load center voltage if you can measure the both and then divide by the the current uh, between the two uh, points that will be the R line uh, ohm plus D uh, X line ohm in total so you can actually go and see the table 7.3 on page uh, 208 uh, if you want to look uh, the relationship of uh, tap voltage reference correspond to each of them you can see uh, what would be the value of uh, uh, the the voltage on the 120 uh, volt base uh, hope this helps